You're watching the Haas interview section and uh, today, Wednesday, it's Sandy Mello and she's from the Key to Me Haas Costa magazine and a great little magazine with lots of interesting information for you and of course catching up with what's on in the municipality and uh, with Sandy is Laura Oldfield and uh, she is... Well, she has a lot of different roles, really. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. She's been involved in children's entertainment for the past 10 years. And her main performing job was part of the show team at Flamingo Land Theme Park in Yorkshire. And uh, she's also involved with iStage Group as well in the UK. And uh, she has Kids Party Spain as well here on the Costa del Sol. But uh, she's also involved with quite a few charity events that are coming up this weekend. In fact, in between all this, um, she actually teaches English uh, and singing to children in a private school uh, in Arroyo, and it's called Please English. I don't know how she actually um, does all these things, but we'll find out. <laughs> Good afternoon, Hello. Laura. Thank Good you afternoon. for having me. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, it's a pleasure, and um, especially, I mean, we say all the time, don't we, Sandy, that the Costa del Sol... Uh, attracts people from all different walks of life, yeah. all interesting characters. Yeah. And uh, you certainly are. You're certainly a very, very busy lady. I do sure. try and keep busy, but it's the, it's the only way I like to be. Yes, so. yeah. I mean, we'll talk later, you know, because you actually do tributes to people mm -hmm. such as Kate Perry, yes. um, which is great. You were involved as well in the One Wish Steve charity show as well. That was um, a great night at the Millennium well. Cocktail Bar a yeah. couple of weeks ago, raising money for, for Kudeka, and it was just such a good night. I yeah. met some great acts there, great crowd, loved it. Okay. Now... You're from Scarborough, North Yorkshire, but we must mention you were born in uh, Manchester. Yeah, I have to mention that or <laughs> I'll have uh, aunties and uncles ringing me up saying, you were born in Manchester, you're a Manchester girl. <laughs> and uh, you're here on the Costa del Sol. Um, well, I'll let you tell us why. It's some special person that you met whilst oh, yeah. working. Of course, I should mention that. I'm in Spain because I have a Spanish boyfriend. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I fell in love with him and I fell in love with Spain at the same time, so... Now I've been on the Costa del Sol for two years and mm -hmm. I, think, I think I'm going to be here for forever, I think, really. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic place, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think we shall find out about the Flamingo Land uh, theme park, yeah. um, what your involvement with them. I believe you put together shows, didn't you? And yeah. they're world-class shows, I believe. Yeah, um, Flamingo Land theme park is, I think, the third biggest theme park in Europe. And I was lucky enough, after three auditions to get a job there as a singer in their show team. And I stayed there for two years, absolutely loved it. And then when I left, I was still working alongside the production company there, iStage Group. They put on world-class world -class shows. They're a fantastic company. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been lucky enough to work for them to provide them with their children's shows. So I've been writing the family pantomimes, um, educational shows to go inside with the zoo that's there, things like this, and... What well, sort of, it sort of, so it involves sort of like adventures, I presume, with the animals or... Yeah, the, yeah. the short 20 minute shows in the daytime that I wrote were, were for the children and we have giant makeup mascots, we have puppets, puppeteers with parrots, um, mm -hmm. a flamingo, um, and then there's two girls that talk the way through it, talking to the characters and then the children learn about the animals, but also sing along and have a great time. Yeah, that sounds so. wonderful. Uh, and of course, you, you still are involved with all this, quite heavily involved, aren't you? Yeah, still, I'm not flying back as much, but I'm always there to send a script over of, uh -huh. of this and that. Last year I did um, Beauty and the Beast, actually, I wrote for them, and I did Aladdin, I've done Wizard of Oz, so I've wrote lots of things for them over the past few years. Now, you're saying they're sort of like 20-minute pieces, aren't they? Uh, the ones for the zoo are, but yeah. the family pantomimes are full pantomimes, full pantomimes, at least an hour, at least. Gosh. So for the for the ones um, for the Flamingo Land, the twenty mm -hmm. minute ones, how long does it take you from more or less from beginning to end? How long does it take me to, to put it all together? Ooh, well, a week of driving everyone mad while I just think of ideas and I say to everyone, "What about this? What about this?" <laughs> and then when I sit down and put it together, it don't actually take me that long. But then zookeepers would have to approve of it and come back with feedback then the show producers would have to give me feedback and then the people designing the puppets would 
have to give me feedback and say, well, actually, you can't have that one, but you can have this one. OK, well, we'll just change, change it now. Change the animal, <laughs> change the script. Um, but I would say it's two, three months of but getting quite a few shows together. Mm -hmm. And the pantomime, obviously, is same, a very yeah. big job. Same, yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. Well, the actors are really professional, so they will... You know, behind the scenes, it's a lot of planning and a lot of writing and bringing people to source things we need. But the actors will come in and the singers will come in and they'll learn it in a week mm -hmm. and then just go and do it. Yeah. So they do really well. So quite a lot of responsibility there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and you've always been interested in the world of singing and dancing and the world of theatre. That's all I've done. Yeah. Since being, I think, seven years old, I've been in every local drama group, singing group, dance group, and it's just, it's all I know. <laughs> but I love it. And yeah. Oh, that is good to be able yeah. to um, have a career in something that you enjoy doing. Oh, I think that's definitely. A, that's just what everybody would love, wouldn't they? Yeah. 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 Uh, definitely very lucky to do what I do. I've worked for some great people. I've sang with bands. I've worked in theatres, been in pantomimes myself done all sorts but now obviously I'm trying to work here and make my own business and that's why I'm setting up Kids Party Spain and my Katy Perry tribute show. Okay well before we talk about these wonderful um, charity events um, perhaps we should talk about your kids uh, parties. Oh, um, yeah. You do lots of different themes yeah. in fact um, throw frozen theme parties you were asked yeah. to do weren't you? That's what's going crazy at the minute. Every weekend I'm turning up at somebody's house dressed as Queen Elsa, <laughs> singing Let It Go, presenting the cake, singing Happy Birthday. I've even got my friend who teaches at the school with me. She's doing the parties with me now as well and she's dressed as Princess Anna. <laughs> and um, it's just, that's just so much fun. It's mm. just such a delight to just go and have a couple of hours with children and they just really believe you're the Disney characters and they just love it and... Mm. I love it as well, so. And what age group? Well, every age. I've got yeah. babies that enjoy the story time up to, like, 12 years old, and they'll mm. want to do game shows and activities and uh, mm. treasure hunts and all sorts. So it's really for all ages. Yeah. And I get the adults singing as well. So oh, do you? That's definitely. good. Oh, yeah, they shouldn't miss out, should they? Definitely. They, yeah. know, it, they know it word for word. They've seen <laughs> the film a lot. <laughs> uh, I would imagine by the summer you're actually going to be having a waiting list. Yeah, well, I'm already quite, yeah, I'm quite busy. There's a few people interested, obviously, for this weekend, but I can't do it because of the yeah. charity events and things, but... Yeah, um, OK. Oh, well, good luck with all that. Thank That's you. Great. Yeah, I've, oh, I've just got my website up now, mm -hmm. www.kidspartiespain.com. OK, that should come up on the screen as we're talking. thank you. So. Um, now, the first uh, charity event, which is for Kodeka, yes. and it's a pantomime, Beauty and the Beast, yes. and it's the wonderful family of sound that yes. are presenting it, which are a non-profit making group, and um, they involve all age groups, really, don't they? Yeah, exactly. It's a children's yeah. performing school, yeah. so obviously I'm fully supporting Sandy, the lady that runs that, and she put an advert out asking for adults to help out to be in the show with the kids, and well, it's just my cup of tea that being in a pantomime and something I've not I've not worked in a team yet in Spain in a show. So I was yes, please pick me. I want to be in your show. <laughs> so I'm having a great time, met great people, and I can't wait to see how we do this weekend with the shows. Wh which part have you got? I am Henry, Sir Captain Henry. I'm a I oh, like... true pantomime style. Though you're yeah. taking the male part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've got. Uh, I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm a man in the show, but uh, it's great fun. I get the great fight scene with the beast at the end, so that's my starring role at the end, which I enjoy. <laughs> uh, I would think it'd take a lot of choreographing as well. Uh, well, no, not really. Not actually. really. No, it's a bit more comical, so... <laughs> so it's anything goes. Though. Anything goes, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And have you helped to sort of rewrite bits of it? Or? No, not with this. No. I have literally... This is Sandy's work and um, from the school I've just gone in and learnt my lines and in, and obviously practice with the other kids practice with the other adults and Go there's a few that. songs as well so I get to sing along with everyone and oh, enjoy that right. now it's on Friday the 20th of February at the uh, Cartamar Theatre yes and Sunday the 22nd at the Sunset Beach Club yes um Tickets are just six euros, but you do have a competition you're going to tell us about. Yes, it's a competition. If you want to go on Facebook and look at the Family of Sound Facebook group, 
Take a look through the pictures and see if you can spot the name of our pantomime horse. If you think you know it, send a message to the Family of Sound Facebook page with the name and you might be lucky enough to win some free tickets to the show on Friday. That'd be great. And that's familyofsound.es if anybody wants to great. Uh, send them. That's good. That's great. Uh, reminding people that it's um, 7.30, doors open at 8pm on yeah. Friday. And on the Sunday, it's an afternoon performance. Yeah. Doors open 3pm and performances at 3.30. That's right, yeah. That's good. Now, your next uh, one is for the Mental Health Foundation. Yes. Uh, Afisol. And, and Afisol as well, And yes. Afisol as well. So it's UK and Spain. Yes. Uh, the reason behind this is Samantha Bailey, a lady on the coast, is actually running the London Marathon this year. And, well... Well, you can see the singers there. This yes. is Adele <laughs> tribute, Madonna tribute, myself as Katy Perry, and Laura Ellen that does Catherine Jenkins. We're putting on this show, 100% of the ticket sale money is going towards, well, what Sam's doing. It's all linked to Sam running the marathon. And she's raising money for Afasol in Spain and the Mental Health Foundation in the UK. So all money is going towards that. So it's all linked. The inspiration was Sam. Mm -hmm. saying come on help me so of course we will that's yeah, it that's great and that's the 21st of february so that's this in Saturday. between yeah i'm <laughs> just going to move into the sunset this weekend i'm going to yeah. sleep there yeah. so yeah and it's at sunset beach now if anybody um wants to uh get tickets for this how, how would they do that you your get, facebook page yeah or? facebook you can type in celebrity divas and i'm sure you'll find us but also in sunset beach if you go in there's tickets for sale um, or send me a message on my Facebook. Um, I'm Katie Perry Tribute Spain. <laughs> You'll find me, and um, we'll we'll uh, reserve your tickets for you. Okay. And actually, it's quite um, it's extra special as well. Um, the particular performance for Kodaka, because today we've got news that yeah. uh, Joan Hunt, um, the founder. And she has an OBE as well, founder of Kadeka 23 years ago, has been nominated for the Andalusia Day Award, um, which she's going to be presented along with nine other people on the 25th of February. And of course, um, it's extra special because normally that normally goes to a, a Spanish person or a Spanish, you know, mm -hmm. organisation. Um, so she's very, very. We talked to her today on the radio, and she's really, really, really. Uh, pleased and proud yeah it's great news yeah so that's that's something because they do a fantastic job they really do on the coast um and uh, anything else you want to add about any of the events or perhaps any some events. of the things that you're involved with um well i think you've mentioned everything that I i'm involved with from being at the <laughs> school to being in shows um i'm really looking forward to saturday night and revealing my new katy perry tribute look for right. the for the next upcoming summer season um, I've got a new costume made, a replica Katy Perry costume, and it's, um, it's been a big job because I've had a fantastic seam seamstress working on it, as well as my boyfriend has had to help with this costume because it involves a lot of LED lights. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, I'm hoping it's ready and it all works great and that um, I light up the stage on Saturday night. So, um, yeah... That should be good on It'd Saturday. It'd be fantastic, yeah. yeah. If it works, if it works. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Well, all the best and thank, thank you. you. And lovely to meet you. You too.